Shalal, a native of the planet Kali in wild space, developed into a ferocious warrior for his people. Cumine Jai Shalil adopted the moniker Grievous. Sith Lords Darth Sidious and Darth Tranus, also known as Dooku, the Count of Serrano, finally learned of Grievous' bloody reputation after he turned to the stars to continue his conquests. Grievous was approached by the Sith with an offer to be transformed into a more advanced cybernetic being while working as an enforcer for the intergalactic banking clan. He agreed to his suggestion and started going through the changes gradually over time, all the while continuing his aggressive antics. Later, the Count led Executive Separatist Council of the newly created Confederacy of Independent Systems planned to terminally wound Grievous in order to create a super cyborg who would serve their interests. Grievous' spacecraft was sabotaged by Dooku's agents and caused a horrific crash that put the man in danger of dying. His organic body was largely destroyed and his residual organs were placed into a strong new robotic body. His cyborg body gave Grievous increased strength and intelligence, which resulted in an already renowned fearsome warrior transformed into an even greater warrior. It is the beginning of the Clone Wars, 22 BBY. The battle between the Separatist droid forces and the Jedi along with the clones was ensuing the planet's surroundings. Grievous was set free in the Genosian catacombs, where he was tasked with protecting the Separatist Council. Jedi Master Ursima Du and a clone trooper company fought through the tunnels underground until she was unexpectedly stopped in her tracks. In her eyes sight with the Separatist Council and some strange droid-like being. At first she thought it was a large droid unlike anything she had seen before. But glancing further, she realised it was a cyborg, fitted with a full-body mechanical high-tech enhancements. He carried an electrostaff as a weapon and had a distinctive, sinister, painful-sounding cough. The warrior was none other than the secret cyborg assassin Count Dooku had personally recommended. Grievous. A Jedi? What a pleasant surprise! said Grievous as he swung his electric staff to show off his obvious skill and to intimidate his opponent. A chance to show my superior skill, he chuckled. <laughs> Master Osi Madu just looked at him amazed and did not say anything. She ignited a green lightsaber, lunged forward towards the towering cyborg. Grievous had only recently recovered from his extensive and painful procedures and wounds. He did not only have to go through recovery, but also physiotherapy and relearn how to adjust to his new body and fighting cells. The warrior was fast, intelligent and fought really well. The master was struggling to keep up with the blows and unpredictable behaviour of the cyborg. Grievous kept switching his electric staff to different hands from his many arms, which was distracting and throwing the Jedi Master off her concentration and fighting efficiency. Grievous every so often was stumbling, occasionally falling over. It was clear that he was not used to his new body yet. The clone troopers were battling the few droids that were there to aid Grievous in his protecting of the Separatist leaders. After a short while, the droids were disposed of with few casualties on the Republic side. Grievous knew he had to even the odds and quickly before they outnumber him and take him and his allies prisoners. This was his first task from Dooku. He was not willing to let this be a failure. He thought that failing to do this is not something he could come back from with the Separatists. It was time to make his mark. The clone troopers couldn't react quick enough to stop him and swiftly tiptoed using his many arms and legs and viciously murdered the group of clones. Grievous was again laughing wickedly, sometimes interrupted by his dreadful cough, 
<laughs> a nice lightsaber. I might start the collection. He stated mockingly. The Jedi Master knew he was too good of a fighter for her to defeat. Through combat alone, she only had to hold him off long enough for the cyborg to make a slip up again. She decided to catch him off guard by attacking first, with a force leap towards him and pierced her lightsaber through the weaker part of his armour surrounding his heart. As Grievous was still getting used to his mechanical body, he did not bring his electric staff up to block the lightsaber in time. The trick worked, Grievous was defeated and slowly dying. But how? <laughs> <laughs> no weird can compete with my enhanced serenatics. <laughs> Grievous said before his final breath. The Jedi Master escorted the Separatist leaders to the Republic ship and placed them under arrest, awaiting a trial in the courts. This served as too severe blow for the Separatists, and the war was over before it began, only lasting a few short months. Count Dooku and Darth Sidious soon ran out of resources, now that they had no funding or leaders for the protection of more battle droids. Soon Dooku was too captured and eventually let out the secret of who Darth Sidious really was. The Chancellor was killed in an attempt to arrest him by the Jedi, at the hands of Mace Windu due to the Sith Master resisting the Jedi. The war was over and the Republic was in a time of peace for many ages. Hello the invaders, this is my What If General Grievous Died on Genosis video. This video was done as a request. If you like this, I recommend the four book series of General Grievous. You can get the collection for £6.36 or £1.59 each. As an Amazon associate, I earn commission from purchases within the links. Like and subscribe. Until the next time, on Star Wars Invader.